Okay, welcome everyone. As we uh, are learning tonight, first of all, we'll have in mind Irving is going to be sponsoring the Chumash here, so we'll also have in mind now for his brother uh, that he should have a Rafu Shalema, Eliezer ben Rezel, should have a Rafu Shalema, Besek Shechel Yisrael. We also uh, are sponsored by A.B. Spry and family for the safety of our soldiers, for Issa Zeb ben Yuta. We also are sponsored by Shimon Klein, Lili Nishma, Sasha Rancho ben Yehuda, and Gittel Bas Shimon Pinchas, Irving Fishbaum for his uh, health, Issa ben Rezel, uh, for my Shver, Avigur Ayim ben Rivka, and uh, for Mayor Ben Chayisar, they should have a Rufu Shalema, Misaych Shar Chayli Yisrael. We have a packed night tonight as we will be learning. Rabbi, for, Rabbi can I give you a name? Please? Yes, yes. My daughter having surgery, Fegel Rissa Bas Esther. Fegel Rissa Bas Esther. She should have a successful surgery and be fully gesund. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Rabbi. Um, we uh, have a full night, like I was about to say, as we have the Chumash here tonight and the Mishnayis as well. So lots to do, lots of places to go and people to see. Um, we welcome in Aaron Swade and Yitz Fuchs, Nachim Imansky, Abe Spry, Irving Fishbaum, Eli Yudel, Stephen Holtzman, Shimon Deer, Eddie Chazan, Shelley Zeitlin, Barish Gesserman, Shimon Klein, Michal, Marshall Castle, Mo Kushner, Dr. Guy, Nachman Chapler, uh, Rabbi Kranz, Ruven Pollock, Moshe Lehman, Yeshua Shmuel Eisenberg, uh, and we have uh, Stephen Ari, Ari Bias, uh, Sandy Grunfeld. Here in Shul we have Reb Blumenfeld and Reb Kramer, Rich Lenner, Saba, Ruven Shannett, Baruch Ian. Now, you see, here's a guy. He decided he wanted to help us out with Mariv. So he gets on a plane and he comes. <laughs> Tomorrow morning he'll be back in sunny Florida, you know, and then he'll come the next night, you know. Uh, and uh, Reb Avram, it's great. It's great to have all of you. Yeah, that's what you, you need Balabatim like that. Reliable Balabatim. You tell them you're short, they just get on a plane and come. Um, we are holding, we answered that we're holding Mamish right in the middle of a, of a sugya. Uh, So we, we, had, we had a case where uh, Marshall, who wasn't here last night, so he did all his stealing in stealth. Uh, oh, that looks good, Marshall. I stole this too. Really, did, really looks good. Um, so anyway, um, we, 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 had, we had a case uh, which the Gemara quoted uh, where Marshall stole something from Abi and he was Makdish it. And then afterwards he slaughtered it. So the Gemara says he pays Kefal because he stole it. So he has to pay uh he has to pay Kefal to A.B., but he doesn't pay Tashlumi Arba V'chamisha because it, it, it was hectish. And uh, if, if you sort of something of hectish is, then you don't pay to, uh, Arba V'chamisha. So the Gemara said that we're talking about over here where it was before Yish, and if it was before Yish, then how could Marshall be Makdash? It's not his. And it says, Ich ki Yaktish Beisa, it has to be yours. 
So the Gemara says Marshall wasn't Maktish it. A.B. was Maktish it. In other words, even though Marshall stole it, A.B. was Maktish it. So the Gemara says, but wait a second. Uh, how could he be Maktish it? It's not in his Rishos. So the Gemara says it's going according to the Tznuin, who hold that you could do something even though it's not in your Rishos. You could affect the Chalais even though it's not in your Rishos. So the Gemara says, but wait, there's another question. And that is, if A.B. A- was Maktashit, so it's considered like he got it back. Because uh, it, it, he got the benefit that it goes to Agdish. And then that's a case of Chazer Karen Labalov. It, it was returned. And therefore there shouldn't be a Chiv of Kefal. So the Gemara says that it's talking about that Abi was Makdashit only after Ahmad Badin, only after the verdict was issued. And since the verdict was issued, Marshall was already Chayev to pay Kaif. So, says the Gemara, as we now uh, take off from there, five lines from the bottom. What's the case? If they issued the verdict, Marshall give it to A.B. What's the difference if Marsh if A.B. was Maktashit, and that's why Marshall is not Kaiv Dalave? I feel even if A.B. wasn't Maktashit, and Marshall went ahead and uh, slaughtered it after the ver- verdict was issued, uh, still loy l'chayv. He shouldn't be chayv, because then a verdict was issued, and if he then disobeys the verdict, he's considered a gazlan, a robber, brazenly disobeying the verdict of Bezgin, and a gazlan doesn't pay Dalavei. Dhamma Robert say tamely, if Bezin issues a verdict and says, give it to him, Tabachumat Machar, if then afterwards he still slaughters or sells it potter. Because my time, what's the reason? Kevin the Pasquilla Mill say, since Bezin issued the verdict and he d- brazenly disobeyed the b- verdict for Tabachumakar, and he slaughtered and sold it, Avalay Gazan, and he's now a open robber. The Gazan ain't a Mishalm Tashlubeyava Bachamisha. However, if Bezdin did not issue a definitive verdict, they didn't say, save a tame life. Rather, they said the less um, definitive, you're going to be required to give it to him, but they didn't issue the definitive, save a then then if he slaughtered and sold it, my time was. Kevin Dole Pasca Lamilsa, since it's not definitive, still Akati Ganifu, he's not considered a brazen robber, he's still that's the original theft, because the verdict wasn't completed. So the Gemara says, okay, so that's what we're talking about. What happened was is Bezdin told Marsha, you're required to give it to him. Therefore he became Chayev Kefal. Then uh, A.B. was Makdashit, and then Marshall slaughtered it, so that's why he's part of the of A. But if he would have slaughtered it without Marshall being, without A.B. sanctifying it, he would be Chayiv in Dalavay. Question? Yeah. What about the, uh, the Chomesh? How do you know that there's no Chomesh? If he consecrated it, then I'm, I'm taking Hegdish, and I'm shafting it, isn't that the Mila? Mila is only Bishagig, not Bamezid. There's only a carbon Mila and a fifth if you do it Bishagig. Not if you do it Bamezid. Now, um, four lines from the top of Daf Samach Tesamad Aleph. As we get underway in this exciting and a good Nchaydish, everyone, a good Nchaydish Shvat. You know, they say that Shvat stands for 
Shenizbaser Besiris Tavis. We should have a lot of good news this month. And we could we could use a lot of good news from Eretz Yisrael. Excuse me. Now, Gufa. I'm Rabbi Yechelen. Gezel the Lainis Yashua Bailem. If Marshall steals from AB and AB doesn't despair, Shneim ain't on Yechelen Lahakdish. Neither of them could sanctify the item. Zelafi Shein is Shaloi. Marshall can't do it because it's not his. Vizelafi Shein is Shusai. And AB can't do it because it's right now not in his possession. Says the Gemara, does Rabbi Yechelen hold of that? Or me, I'm a Rabbi Yechelen Achi, does Rabbi Yechelen hold that way? I, I'm a Rabbi Yechelen Alachi Kestamish. Now, all over Shas, we know that Rabbi Yechelen and Paskin's like an anonymous Mishnah. The Tanan, and we learned in a, an anonymous Mishnah, Kerem Ravai. If, let's say, Yitzi has a vineyard that's in its fourth year, right? So the first three years it's forbidden as Arla. The fourth year, the fruits have to be taken up or redeemed, and it's money eaten in Yerushalayim. in Isai, they would mark it, they would uh, mark it Biksuzais Adama, with uh, clods of earth, with clumps of earth. Simona, it's a sign that this land, Ki Adama, is like earth. Just like ma'adama ika nomine, just like earth, you could benefit from it when you work on it, when you do something, when you plow it, when you harvest it. Afhainami, the fruit of the fourth year, kimifrika, when you do work with it and you redeem it, then shori lisanuyemine, then you could benefit from it. This reminds me, Ram Miller asked that in Yiddishkeit, Potato is a very important substance. Where would we be without potato kugel, without french fries, without latkes, without potatoes in the chalant? Where would we be? He says, shouldn't potatoes have a nice, beautiful color? An apple gets a color and an orange gets a color. So you should make a, a, a potato a beautiful winter green, right? Or uh, some other very nice, a purple, a nice color. So he says the answer is, is that it's made the color of earth to tell you that you can't bite out of it. You can't take a munch out of it. It's like earth that needs to be worked upon before you can eat it. An orange you can take a bite out of. An apple you can take a bite out of. This you can't take a bite out of it. Ramillo is always, he always says, the watermelon is a beautiful red until the rind. Then it's not the red anymore. To tell you, only eat till here, past here, you're going to get a stomachache. The Miller would say, he would say, I mean, it's not yet Tu B'Shvat. I'm, I'm telling you Tu B'Shvat, Tyra. But the Miller would say, why is it that the apple seed has its own mucus? It, the apple, apple seed is slippery, but it's not slippery from the liquid of the, uh, of the watermelon. I'm sorry, the, the watermelon seed. Why does the watermelon seed have its own mucusy slipperiness? He says it's not from the, from the wetness of the watermelon. The wetness, that's just water. If you take the watermelon seed, you'll see it as like a saliva on it to slip. Why? Because the, apple, the watermelon seed is edible. And the Rabbi Nisham didn't want you to eat it because he wanted to have more watermelons. So he made it slippery that it should slip away. And he said that's why you see in the south, he said a very interesting thing that you see on the se- in the south, that there are watermelons growing by the steps of the houses. He says, why is that? Because they didn't have air conditioning. And they used to go out after the meal and eat the watermelon on the steps of the house. And the seeds would slip out and fall into the ground. And that's why you had watermelons by the steps. I borrow, 
Baruch always wanted to know why, why he came here from wherever he came, you know. <laughs> he came here and he sees watermelons growing by the steps. What kind of crazy people are these? That's the reason. Now, anyway, so says the Gemara, Vishal Arla, a field in the first three years, they uh, would mark it becharsis, with pieces of shard, pieces of earthenware shards. Simona kecharsis, that's like a shard. Macharsis, shein hanomi, no, you can't grow anything from a shard. Afai, the less ba'anomine, you can't benefit from the first three years. All is also ba'chila, it's also ba'na. Vishal kvora is besid, and graves they would mark with line. Simona de Chiver Katsamas. This is a sign that over here is buried bones. And therefore, lime is white like bones. Omamacha Vishaifach, they would dilute the lime with water and they would pour it around. Kiechi de Nichver because diluting it with water would make it very white. Amram Shimon Gamliel, when do we have to mark it? We have to mark it in a Shemitah year. Because in the Shemitah year, the field is free for people to come and take it. So since it's free for people to come and take it, we don't want them to be over an Isser. But the rest of the year, Marshall says, why should I mark my field? They're not allowed to come and take it, so if they take it, let them burn. Right? That's the way... You never heard Marshall say that? Where is Marshall? Where did Marshall go? Oh, he flew the coop. Uh, there he is. Uh, there he is. Sorry. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's nice of you to drop in. You know, it's. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of things that you know take your attention. I, I understand that. Uh, but anyway. Marshall says, "Why sh Marshall says, why should I, why should I mark my field the rest of the, the years of the uh, of the year? If somebody eats from my field when it's forbidden, let them burn, let them rot. They shouldn't be eating there. Let the rushes, let it be fed down to Russia. of Yomis, let him die. He shouldn't be stealing. However, that's nuin." The pious ones, you know, the 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 uh, the modest ones, manichen esamois, they would put down money, the aimer, and they would say about their field in the fourth year that kol anilkut mezeh, that if Shelley comes and takes without permission, whatever is taken, mechulol alamois halol should be redeemed on this money. So here we have a Stam Mishnah that the people that are correct put down money and say that after Shelley takes it, it should devolve upon this money. So that means that the, the Tznuin can affect the Chalois when it's not in their Rishos because Shelley took it. And yet they could affect the Chalois and make a rede redemption. So you see, it's a Stam Mishnah that you could do it even though it's Eina Barishusai. So how could Rabbi Yechelen say, V'chi teima, man ton tznuin, who's the author of tznuin? Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, it's going according to Shitas Yochid. Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, Rabbi Yechelen, kistam yechido lo yomar. When he says that loch is like a stam mishnah, that's only a stam mishnah that's the das harabim. But a stam mishnah that's an individual's opinion, that he doesn't hold of, but that runs against another rule of Rabbi Yechonin. V'amar Rabbi Babachan Am Rabbi Yechonin Kol Mokem Shishon Rabbi Shim Gamliel B'Mishnah Seinu Wherever Rabbi Shim Gamliel teaches Halacha Kamaisai Chutz Me Arav V'Tzidain V'Rayach Reina, except in the three cases of Arav Tzidain and Rayach Reina. So this is not one of those three cases, and since it's not one of those three cases, so anyway we should pass him like Rabbi Yechonin. And here you see that, anyway, we should pass like Rabbi Shimon Gamliel. So you hear, you see that Rabbi Shimon Gamliel holds that you could affect the chalais even though it's already uh, taken by Shelley. So you could affect the chalais even if it's not in your So how could Rabbi Yechelen say that 
you can't be makdish something when it's not in your rishus. So the Gemara says, no, this is what the Tznuin said. The Tznuin said in the morning, anybody, uh, anybody that will take, it should be hectish from now. It should be redeemed from now. So you're making the redemption before Shelley takes it. Ella Ema rather say, Whoever will take, if Shelley will take, then it should be redeemed from now. So he's making the Chalais before it gets into, out of his Rishus. Says the Gemara, Umi Amar Rabbi Yechelen Hachi, the Amr Rabbi Yechelen, Rabbi Yechelen says, Tznuin Rabbi Daisa Amru Davar Echad, that the Tznuin, Rabbi Daisa say the same thing, Rabbi Daisa Nilkat Kama, and Rabbi Daisa doesn't say Kalam Islakate, anything that will be gathered. He, he says, when it's gathered, it should be uh, redeemed. So he doesn't say that he's doing it at, ahead of time. So you see that Rabbi Yechon holds that the Tznuin hold that it's not done ahead of time. Says the Gemara. The Tanya, how do we know that that's the position of Rabbi Daisa? The Tanya, Rabbi Yehuda Aymer, Shachris Balabayis Aymer. Rabbi Yehuda says in the morning, the owner of the field gets up, Whatever Aniyam uh, will gather later today, Yehei Hefke. So he's being mafkarit ahead of time. Reb Dais Yehimer Lee to say Erev Yehimer at in the in the evening he says Kol Shalok to Aniyam Yehei Hefke. So you see that Reb Dais holds that you could do it even though it's not in your Rishos anymore, even though Aniyam already took it. And Rabbi Yechelen says that the Tznuin and Rabbi Daisa say the same thing. So the Gemara says, no problem. Eipach the Rabbi Yehuda the Rabbi Daisa, Rabbi Daisa the Rabbi Yehuda. Switch it around. And it's Rabbi Daisa who says that they did it in the morning. And, and, that, and that Rabbi Yechelen holds about because you do it while it's still in your Rishos. Says the Gemara, am I map his asnisa? Why do you switch around the brisa? Isn't it easier to switch around the words of Rabbi Yechina? I mean, the brisa is more earlier and it's more authoritative. So, am I ap his masnisa? Why do you switch around the words of the brisa? Ap chayla Rabbi Yechina. Switch around the words of Rabbi Yechina. And let him say, So the Gemara says, well, we got another problem anyway. We got a problem to say that it's Rabbi Yehudu who says that you say it ahead of time. You see, to be able to say that I'm mafker now anything that the Aniyam will take later, the only way you could do that is by saying retroactive clarification. The only way you could say that is by saying Breira. And that is to say that later on, when the Aniyam take it, it's retroactively clarified that that was renounced in the morning. That necessitates the magic of Breira. And we know Rabbi Yehuda doesn't hold the Breira. Says the Gemara, you have to switch it around anyway. You have to switch around this price anyway. In this price, if Rabbi Yehuda is the one that says that he said in the morning that it should, that which the Aniyam take later should be Hefker now, then that means that Rabbi Yehuda holds a Breira. Because according to this version of the Mishnah, the Bahamas Nisikatani, the Isla, the Rabbi Yehuda Breira. 
But Rabbi Yehuda doesn't hold the brayer. V'shamina lay the Rabbi Yehuda ba'alma the less lay brayer. And elsewhere we know that Rabbi Yehuda doesn't hold a retroactive clarification. The Tanan, as we turn to Samach Tesamid Beis, the Tanan. If Rich buys wine right before Shabbos from Kusa. Now, the Kusi, although he's Gere Emes, although he's a sincere convert, they weren't careful with Trumas and Meisers. And since they weren't careful, so Rich has to separate. It. Now, it's right before Shabbos, and he doesn't have any utensils with him. And on Shabbos, he's not allowed to separate it because it's mirzeik and misakin. It looks like correcting. So therefore, he has to do it now, but what does he do if he doesn't have anything to put it in? So, he says, now here he had a hundred lug that he bought. So, average truma is one fiftieth. So he says, Shnei glugin shani osid lahafrish. Two lugin, that's a fiftieth, uh, that I'm destined to separate as truma. Harihain truma. It should be truma on this side. Asara ten, actually it's less than ten because it's now ninety-eight. So it's a tenth of ninety-eight, but we round it out to ten. Ten is my serision. Then, tes, nine, because now when you're left with 90, it's really less than 9. But a tenth of 9, the second tenth in the first, second, and fourth and fifth year of the Shemitah cycle, 9 should be Meiser Shani. Now the Meiser Shani he could redeem immediately. Omechel, that he redeems. And then Shoysimiyat, and he drinks right away. Because we say that what he drinks is Chulin, and that which he separates later off the barrel as truma and maiserishin, that's huvra dover meikara, that it's the truma and the maiserishin. Divra mei. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Yehuda. So you see that Rabbi Yehuda doesn't hold the breira. So says the Gemara, Imrei, saif saif, a maiko apkes lo the mas nisan. Mishim de kashin de Rabbi Yehuda, de Rabbi Yehuda. Because Rabbi Yudas can't say that whatever the Aniyam take le- later, we want it to be Hefka from the morning because Rabbi Yudas doesn't hold the Breira. But Hashdenami Kashid Rabbi Yechinen Ad Rabbi Yechinen. Why? Because we said that according to Rabbi Yechinen, it can't be that he said that whatever um, Shelley takes from the field, when he takes it, it should be redeemed because Rabbi Yechon holds you can't do it when it's not in your Rishus anymore. So it ha- has to be talking about where he said if Shelley takes something it should re- be redeemed in the morning but Rabbi Yechon doesn't hold the prayer. Hashten amikashit Rabbi Yechon and Rabbi Yechon the Amrit Rabbi Yechon leitema kol anilkit whatever will be taken. What, 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 don't say that when it's taken, it should be redeemed. You say in the morning, whatever will be taken, it should be redeemed from now, while it's yet in your Rishos. But I'll may slay I would imply that Rabbi Yechon holds a Breira. But Rabbi Yechon less slay Breira. We know in Shas that Rabbi Yechon doesn't hold a Breira. This is really a tangled web. Rabbi Yechon doesn't hold a Breira. Now, in order to understand the next Gemara, we have to know that when Yaakov dies, and he has uh, three brothers, Reuven, Shimon, and Levi. Let's say he has two brothers, two sons, Reuven and Shimon. There's no, they're not a Bechar because there's a daughter beforehand, so there's no double portion. We don't have to get busy with a double portion. So in correct Yerusha, if there's a vineyard and a uh, winery so each one gets half of the vineyard each one gets half of the winery 
and each one gets half of the cabbage patch. Now let's say one takes the vineyard and one takes the winery. So if you hold the Breira, so we say it's Yerusha, and whatever they take, it's Huvra, Dove, Mekar, that that's the original Yerusha. But if you don't hold the Breira, so they're supposed to each get half of the winery, half of the cabbage patch. If one takes the winery and one takes the cabbage patch, that means they bartered. If they bartered, it's a purchase. And if it, it's a purchase, it returns at Yoivim. And that's the way Rabbi Yoichanan learns. Uh, Rabbi Yoichanan less like Breira. The brothers that divide, they're buyers, they're barter. It has to return and be redivided again at Yovel. So you see the Rabbi Yechelen doesn't hold the prayer. Really, this Braisa says anything that Shelley takes it should be redeemed then. And Enoch Anami, that's a Stam Mishnah that holds that you could affect the Chalais even though it's not in your Rishos. I, if Rabbi Yechonen Paskin is like a Stam Mishnah, why doesn't he Paskin that way? Rabbi Yechonen has a different Stam Mishnah. Rabbi Yechonen Stam Achrina Ashkech. The Tanan, Eina Goy Nevacher Aganim Mishalm Tashlomei Kefel. If Marshall robs it from Amy and steals it from Amy and then Baruch steals it from Marshall, so Baruch doesn't pay Kefal. So the Gemara says, Amai. Bishloim elegan of Rishin loy Mishalim. I can understand why Baruch doesn't pay Kefal to Marshall because he's not the owner. The good of a base of Ish, but loy mebase a ganem. Ela lebailem Mishalim. But he should pay Kefal also to Amy. Let Marshall pay Kefal to Amy. And let Baruch also pay. Let, let, let Baruch cash in. Let Amy cash in. He dedicates a lot of Europe. Let him cash in. El Alav, Shmami no. What's the reason? Because Zelafi Sheena Shaloi. He doesn't pay Kefal to Marshall because it's not his. Vizelafi Sheena Rishusai. And he doesn't pay. Kefal to A.B. because it wasn't in his Rishos when he stole. So the Gemara says, so why does Rabbi Yechelen follow this Stam and not the other Stam? Oh my cousin's to also basa he Stama la other kehai Stama, the Snuin. Why doesn't he do like the Stam of Snuin? Says, Gemara Mishim de Messiah Lekra. Because the Pasuk is mashma like it. The Ish ki yaktish es beisai kodesh la Hashem. A man who sanctifies his house kodesh la Hashem. Ma beisai berushusai, just like his house is in his possession. Af kol berushusai, you can't affect the chalois when it's not in your possession. Amar Abaya, he loved the Amar Rab Yechonin, tsnuin v'Rab Daisa Amru Davar Echad. If not that Rab Yechonin said tsnuin and Rab Daisa say the same thing. Now remember, Rab Daisa was talking about a din where poor people come to Shimon's field. And there's a din by Leket that if while Shimon is reaping, two pieces fall from his hand, it's for the poor. But if three pieces fall from his hand, it's not for the poor. Now, Ania might not know the difference between two pieces and three pieces. And they might take the three pieces. So in order that that shouldn't happen, so Shimon is mafkarit, uh, so that they shouldn't be over an iser. And in the case of the Tznuin, it's talking about where uh, it's a field of Kerem Ravai. And we're afraid that Shelley likes to pop some grapes in his mouth on the way home. And he won't know that it's Karim Ravai. Right? So uh, they, they redeem it in order that Shelley shouldn't be over an Isra. So the Gemara says, 
if not for the fact that Rabbi Yechonin says that Tznuin and Rabbi Daisa say the same thing, how I mean that Tznuin is the Rabbi Daisa. The Tznuin that say it by the Karim Ravai, they hold of Rabbi Daisa. But Rabbi Daisa less like the Tznuin. Because where do we make an allowance to do this? We make an allowance for the poor. Because they're taking it, they have permission to be in the field. Shelley doesn't have permission to be in this field. What's this? He's popping my grapes into his mouth. What does he think this is? He thinks this is a grocery where you could go ahead and take You can't do it in a grocery either. It's a chila Hashem, by the way. When people go in a grocery and the workers see that people are popping things in their mouth. They invented that you're allowed to taste it if you want to see, if you want to buy it. That's an in- invention. There's no sign in the store, tasting allowed. If, if it is, then you could do it. But I haven't seen that in a while, where it says, all public tasting allowed. You know, they bring their kids, you know, and, and they say, kids, everybody taste. Tell me if you like it. You know, and the kids... They have, they, by the time they're finished, they had supper. You know, you know, you know it's a chil Hashem. Marshall comes with his 11 children, and he says, try one of each. Tell me which one you like. And then they come home, they have a stomachache, they ate so much. Where uh, did all those kids from? <laughs> no, please don't explain. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Marshall. You knew what was coming. <laughs> I, I figured it out. Okay. Um, anyway. Um, Tznu and Islu, the Rab Daisa. Uma beganiv of the Rabban and Takanta. If the Rabban and even make it a Takana with Shelly has sticky fingers, and Ian Srikhalamaymer. They surely make it by the poor that had permission to be in the field. Now, Rava goes ahead and, and adds an, another thing. If not that Rabbi Yechonin said that Snuin and Rabbi Daisa say the same thing, who is the author of the Tznuin that you could redeem something even though it's already in Shelley's hands? Rameyer he. You see, Rameyer has a famous opinion throughout Shas that Maiser Shani is Mom and Gavoya. Maiser Shani is really uh, belongs to Hashem. And we eat Meshulchan Gavaya. But it's Mam and Gavaya. Now, Karen Ravai is on the same plane as Maisa Shani. Because Karen Ravai, the fourth year of the vineyard, you also have to redeem and eat it in Yerushalayim. So the Gemara says, according to Ramea, that would give it entirely new spin to the opinion of the Tznuin. Now, even though it's mom and gavaya, so we would think if it's mom and gavaya, then you shouldn't be able to redeem it, because the 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 second tithe is 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 not yours; it belongs to Hashem, and therefore we think you, you shouldn't be able to redeem it. Yet, to in regard to redeeming it onto money. The Torah gave it to you as if it's yours. If you redeem your own maizer, you have to add a fifth. If you redeem somebody else's maizer, you don't have to add a fifth. But if you redeem your own maizer, you have to add a fifth. So, it's called his maizer. Now, Kerem Ravai is on the same level as maizer Shane. Nami Gamar. Kodesh, Kodesh, Mameiser. Ksiv Ocha, Kodesh, Ilulim. It says by Karen Ravai, the fourth year, Kodesh, Ilulim. Ksiv Gabi, Meiser, Bechol, Meiser, Oretz, Mizar, Oretz, Mepriyat, Lashem, Lashem, Hu, Kodesh. 
So my Kodesh Nechzib Gabi Maiser. Afal Gab the Mom and Gavoyahu. Even though it's money of the Most High. Let me in Padilla. Okma Rachman of Rishu say. Afai Kodesh Nami. Also, Karen Ravai. Nechzib Gabi Karen Ravai. Afal Gab the Lab Mom and Dideu. Even though it's not yours. But the Indian Achule, in order to redeem it, and therefore that's why you could redeem it even though it's in Shelley's Rishus. Because anyway, it's not yours. Even when it's by you, it's not yours, and still you could redeem it. Therefore, you could redeem it even when it's in Shelley's Rishas. Because whether it's in your Rishas or in Shelley's Rishas, it really, really belongs to Hashem. And it's a special exception that you're able to redeem it. But by the gleanings of the poor, came in the Mamoina D day, since it's uh, your money, so Ki Ise say, when it's by you, you could redeem it. But Kilei Sebi Rishu said, once the Ani picks it up already, I might say, Loi Matsi Mafkele, and I wouldn't say like Reb Daisa. And uh, it's only because Reb Yechonin says that the Tznuin and Reb Daisa say the same thing, and therefore it must be that we're not saying that it's going according to Reb Meir. Now, I just want to tell you, Reb Isai, that if you find this Gemara hard, complicated, intricate, then that means that you're perfectly normal. It means you're perfectly normal. I know, I'm, I'm with the exclusion of Marshall, but, but the, the, the Marshall just wants to make that clear. But, uh, but, but, but everybody else, these Gemaras are, uh, are hard. And bravo to all of you by sticking through it and learning it with me. We now, we're not going to learn the Mishnah first, we're learning the Chumashir first. We're going to go straight to the Chumashir because I want people to stay.